hello friends today I'm going to explain about GST on expenses if you purchase or receive any services from unregistered dealer in case of expenses how will post entries with GST adjustments in tally uh, I'll explain a step by step process so how to create ledgers and how to post entries and before that go to F11 features statutory and taxation here we have to enable okay this is our company gst number okay i'm back counting voucher so select item invoice okay invoice number see change the date here okay for july okay here alt c will create sundry creators here unregistered dealer okay we are purchasing goods from unregistered dealer okay select purchase account here purchase from unregistered dealer we have to select okay here name of item see for example purchasing computers okay see 4 and h is 20000 Now, if you calculate CGS also, it will not calculate. Okay, because because unregistered dealer will not charge any tax in their invoice. Okay, enter. So accept this entry. See here. Click on tax analysis and click on F1 detailed. See if you see here. As per the GST rules, under river charge so first what we receive the material or receive the services from unregistered dealer again is that first we have to pay the tax because we are the regular dealers if you purchase from unregistered dealer so first we have to pay the tax okay that is like recipient liability it means reverse charge okay that is 7200 7200 14400 rupees first we have to pay and later we can claim the same from gst payable amount i'll show you how to post the expenses expenses and how we can post the adjustment entries okay and all i'll show you step by step accept this entry okay now see display starter reports gst gst r2 so under b2b invoices it was stored okay see if you observe here in case of regular dealer here vendor gs number will display because john traders unregistered dealer okay that is the reason there is no gst number here okay like that we'll post some expenses see for expenses we don't need name of item wise invoice mode see here to allow the expenses in the same purchase voucher go to f12 configuration and click on f12 again see here if you enable this option allow expenses fixed assets okay and accounting allocation if you say yes means in the same voucher only it will allow if you post any expenses also okay see select the account invoice mode okay and invoice number okay we'll create vendor here gs stores sun creator and register dealer and register dealer now we'll create expenses ledger okay I think already I have created printing and stationery. Okay, see here. Now I have created printing and stationery under indirect expenses, GST applicable, and say yes here, and HSN code purchase from registered dealer taxable, select service, enter. Okay, okay, see. 
4000 rupees okay and see purchase from unregistered dealer okay so now if you calculate cgst also it will not calculate because we are receiving service from unregistered dealer okay and sgst also will not calculate okay tax analysis click on tax analysis and detailed if you see here so subject to reverse charge first we have to pay this 480 rupees and later we can claim the same from tax payable amount okay okay accept this entry now so we'll post more expenses and we'll create one more sundry creditor that is pl services rc pl this is sundry creditor okay unregistered dealer and here will post housekeeping service charges see how i have created this ledger under indirect expenses and applicable say yes here and like this purchase from the dealer and the tax like this we have to create it and say some 10000 monthly okay purchase from unregistered dealer taxable okay here also it will not calculate because we are receiving service from unregistered dealer okay right so same if you check the tax analysis see here detailed same under reverse charge okay i'll show you how to post the adjustment entries enter okay like that and we'll post on more invoice sl service sundry creators here select unregistered dealer and here postage and courier charges see here how i have selected okay created this like this we have to create okay. accept and say 6000 okay taxable and here also it will not calculate same tax analysis the same thing we have to pay first and remain and later we can claim this okay accept okay and will post one more entry will create party name sundry creators and register dealer ok and example installation charges like this we have to create ledger ok under indirect expenses ok see 8000 purchase from unregistered dealer and here also it will not calculate ok tax analysis click on tax analysis detailed just check here central and state tax dish way central and state okay so first we have to pay this and later we can claim the same okay accept this entry and display starter reports gst and gs start to see here total now we posted five invoices okay okay gs tools pl services and sl courier service and ball hardware okay see here total invoice amount is one lakh eight thousand and here total tax amount is 17,760 rupees 17,760 rupees and CGST and 
एट थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एटी रुपीज एंड एस जी एस टी एट थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड रुपीज फर्स्ट वी हेव टू पे दिस सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड सेवन सिक्सटी रुपीज बिकॉज वी आर द रेग्युलर डीलर ओके सी सो बिफोर पेइंग दि टैक्स वी हेव टू चेक वेदर इट इज शोइंग इन बैलेंस शीट एज ए लाइबिलिटी आर नॉट सी है अंडर ड्यूटीज एंड टैक्सेस इज नथिंग इज देर first what we have to do is first we have to make the provision of tax liability so if it will show under duties and taxes this much we have to pay then we can pay so if you pay means it will show minus value so because because of that first we have to post adjustment entries here we'll post adjustment entries general here first what we have to do is now it is not showing that 17 th 17760 rupees in balance sheet so for that we have to post the adjustment entry here okay start adjustment okay click on start adjustment gst and here increase of tax liability it means so before paying the tax it should be show in balance sheet okay increase of tax liability and purchase under reverse charge we have to select here and see tax on advance gst tax on advance because we are paying advance gst on reverse charge and the current assets like this we have to create ledger okay okay 17760 rupees okay and cgst how much we have to pay 8880 rupees and sgst also same okay okay see always current balance credit it is showing credit means this is the payable okay now it will show in balance sheet okay okay now it will show in balance sheet now balance sheet detailed see here it is showing this is the cgst this is the sgst Credit means always payable. Debit means we can claim that. This is called input. Okay, input CGST or SGST. Okay, okay. Now what we have to do is now we'll pay that. Okay, first we have to pay, and later we can claim the same amount. Okay, against payable. Start payment, GST. Select the period, and it is not regular because recipient liability. Because we are the regular dealer, if we purchase or uh, receive any service from unregistered dealer, first we have to pay. and later we can claim the same so select the recipient liability and so cgst how much 8000 and debit sgst and credit how we are paying through cash or bank okay if you select cash see here so if you select yes means so if you pay credit card debit card dm and uh, draw for any ft net banking so accordingly you can fill the details okay so payment date and bir number utr number chalan identification number all this we have to fill but i am paying cash now okay accept this entry now go to balance sheet detailed now it will not show because just now we paid that okay but it will show here it will show under 17000 okay it will show under 17760 rupees okay gst tax and advance for this we have to post reversal entry okay okay now we have increased tax liability and we paid it now we have to claim so against payable amount right so what we have to do is general start adjustment gst now increase of input tax credit it means the total payable of uh, gst is 10000 assume 10000 so if you increase the input tax credit of 6000 it means we have to pay 4000 only remaining for that purpose we have to increase the input tax credit what we paid in advance okay so what we paid in advance okay and purchase under reverse charge 
okay so always be remember that so if you pay the uh, if you purchase from a regular dealer so uh, generally what entry will post generally uh, debit the product and debit the cgst and sgst and credit vendor so it means it is input gst so the same thing we are posting the entry here see cgst debit okay that is again the same amount and again as gst debit it means okay now we should clear this now okay that is reason we are posting this entry okay just tax and advance we clear if you check here current balance okay so okay see so balance sheet detailed debit side it's showing debit side it means now we can claim okay so for example if cgst here 10000 and sgst here 10000 means the remaining we have to pay after this so for that purpose we posted this entry okay okay now it is not showing gst tax and advance under this balance okay and check the profit and loss account here p and l and see purchase value and housekeeping service charges installation charges postage and printing and stationery okay it will show here okay like this we can check the balance sheet and profit and loss account and gst report also okay gst or 2 okay period select the period here okay like this okay i hope this information will help you thanks for watching my videos thank you